What's good everybody? Welcome back to TWR. My name is Tavian. This is my world of reptiles and I hope you're all doing awesome and taking care of yourselves. If this is your first time to my channel, please check out some of my other videos. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified on future content as it comes out. Which is not super consistent, but it does happen. So if you like it, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, so sometime in one of these last videos or something, I did mention how I had taken in this white street. Frog, and I just kind of talked about it for a short bit, but I didn't go into details. So, um, a little while ago, my friend Chelsea and Sarah's um, had asked if I wanted to take on this frog. They had two white dwarf tree frogs, I think, when they used to be in the classroom, um, and then they were at home with them. And I think one of them got sick um, and ended up passing away. So there was one left, and they were just kind of they were keep taking care of it, but definitely didn't have the time or energy and space to actually quite give it the best that they could really give it, and they really wanted it to have that. Uh, so they did reach out to me asking if I wanted to take in a white tree frog, which was actually perfect because I was thinking about getting a white tree frog. So it just took some time for us to actually coordinate our time to actually get it together and get him here. But he is here now. Um, and so now I did mention uh, before how they had this nice setup here. Let me see if I can bring this just a little bit closer. So they came, they came with this very large enclosure here just for the one frog. So it's more than enough space for him. But so he's doing good. And they did this really nice like half background thing where they kind of did the full back and then partially over here on this side kind of a, with some cork bark and they had some nice rocks and stuff in here um, and their original plan was to do some plants because there's like some little pockets and areas where you can put plants and that was their original plan. And I think they had some plants in here before but the issue was they were really struggling with uh, keeping the humidity levels from being too high because these are not necessarily tropical like frogs. They don't really need things to be super high humidity and moist wise so they, they they like things a little bit drier when it comes uh to their care so they're a little different when it comes to other frogs so they were really struggling to keep that humidity down so i think they kept pulling some of the plants out and i think maybe some of them died uh, but ultimately there's now no more plants in here and it's just kind of the original setup with the cork pieces and the holes where the plants used to be and so i figured it's time for me to go ahead and get some plants in here because i said i was going to do that when they first originally got it here and i will see what it is like to keep that humidity where it needs to be uh, but I definitely want to get this planted so that's what I plan on doing today when I get off of work um, it's, um, it's early in the morning now I'm getting ready to head out to work uh, so I'm not gonna be doing that right now but when I come home from work I am going to go ahead and do that so let me move this back real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about. So for this uh, for this this setup, I really got uh, some this really nice, beautiful golden pothos. I think that is gonna work really well in this enclosure with the dark leaves, but the also kind of like brighter splashing of colors on it. It's really gonna give it some depth to the cage. So I really like the golden pothos for that, and I think it's gonna really look great. So I'm just gonna kind of take it out of its pot and break it up into different pieces, and then just kind of tuck them in into the different areas exactly how I would want them to be uh, and I think it's going to be look, look really great with the golden pothos and I also got this pothos this beautiful neon pothos I thought this was an amazingly beautiful plant I really love it it's so bright it's so just like it just glows and I think it will add a lot of really brightness and color and enrichment um, to, the to the enclosure uh, next to uh, the darker leaves of the uh, golden pothos here. So I think these two are going to look really great when I pull them apart, take them out of the par pots, pull them apart and kind of do a lot like a mixing, mashing of the two of them. Um, just kind of throughout the enclosure and tucking them into the little spots uh, that are there that are available for plants. So I'm super excited to get those guys in there um, and see what that looks like at the end of it. And then there's one more thing that I really do. Uh, <laughs> I really want to add to it. And I've had this for a while. I got it in the store that I work at. And when it first came in, I was like, oh, my God, that's so cute. I want it. I didn't even have a plan for it yet, uh, but I took it. And so now I think. This will work really great in here somehow. I haven't quite figured out how I want it to work. Try it. I'm sweaty. I'm a little hot. I have the heater on. I usually turn the heat up a little bit right before I leave. Just so they can stay at a little bit more of a regular temperature. And I don't have to endure that. But uh, anyway. So I have this super cute little moss mushroom here. A little. It's actually quite large. It like 
takes up quite a lot of space. So I'm going to have to figure out where or how I want this to go in there along with the plans. You know, I thought about maybe a front and center thing, but it just kind of blocks out the back. So maybe tucking it in there and then like putting the plants in there where they kind of hang and drape around it. And so, um... I'm super excited to put that in there. I think it's going to look super amazing and super great when it's all done. But that's for later on today. I'm going to spend the day kind of processing. I'm going to take a snack, snap a picture of this and look at it today so that I can just kind of get an idea of what I, how I want it to go um, and thinking about how I want to position the plants in there and where I want the plants to go and how I want to layer the plants and where this would even go and just kind of plan it all out before I try to just dive into it. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep ripping stuff out and moving it around thinking I hate this. And so I'm just going to keep moving it. So I'm going to really think about exactly how I would want this to actually look with the plants, with this mushroom, uh, with the water pool that's in there. They had some really nice like uh, like like stones and stuff in here that I definitely want to include back into them because they're really nice, nice polished rocks. Um, so I'm going to put those back in there as well in just kind of a different manner. So anyway, by the time I come back, uh, by the time I come back here in just a few moments for you or just a moment for you. It will be done. I'm not going to sit and record myself doing it. By the time I come back, it's going to be completely done, and I will show you what it looks like and how I've completed it and talk a little bit about it. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because I do have to get ready to go to work here. So, I will see y'all literally in just a second for you and some hours for me. So, all right, and we are back. And I have finished up the enclosure, and it looks uh, so good. Uh, so good. I'm super excited to show it for you. I'm not even going to waste time talking. I'm just going to show, show it to you like, right now. Here is the before, and here is the after. Check it out. Dude, guys, I mean, I, I, I really like the way it looks. It's, like, super filled in. I like the contrasting colors of the leaves. It's just, it just, it looks really good. And as soon as I put them in here, and I, I cannot remember what they named him, and maybe I'll think of a new name for him, uh, but... As soon as I put him in here, he is like right here, and then he crawled himself back there, and he is tucked back there now uh, on, I don't know, a piece of cork bark somewhere uh, behind the mushroom under the leaves. He's doing his thing. He's hiding, and it looks really good. He seems like he's already enjoying how much space there is or how much more, like, decor there is and how much how filled it is and so he just seemed super happy already he like immediately beelined it crawled around and it found him space self to sit around down in there and i'm just i'm ecstatic i really like the way it looks i think it's going to continue to look great i uh, now some of the holes there are like two of the holes like this one and there's another one up here this one i did manage to tuck a plant in whether it's going to do well or not i don't know those are some really shallow holes, and the roots of the plants that I ripped apart were already pretty established. So I did kind of like break down the roots a little bit to try to make it fit in there. It may or may not survive. It may or may not thrive in that space uh, because of how small of a space it was and how kind of tight it is and how much roots already were there. Um, and they may just try to get more space, and it's really not much more not very much space for them to grow in. So, they may or may not do well. Uh, that that one's, uh, the ones up here anyway. The other ones I think are going to do okay. This one down here is going to do okay. I put, there's like this long spot here that they had and I put two. I put one of the golden pothos and I put the neon pothos there. Um, and I, it'll be looking a lot better also as that, that, that golden starts to grow through and they contrast with the, the neon. But I mean, I just, I like the way that looks. 
Uh, I have one that is down here on the ground as well, so that will fill in and just kind of crawl across the the ground there and just fill in space. And of course, I found the spot for the mushroom, which sits right in the center and looks super cute and is super adorable. Man, he was right on top of it and like, ah, I was trying to get a picture of it. And I just couldn't, and he hopped away too quickly by the time I like was like, ooh, picture. He hopped off and he was gone. So, <laughs> I couldn't get a good picture of him, but it was super cute. And I'm sure I will get uh, a lot of great pictures of him just kind of posted up all throughout here as well. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, one of the things I also did was, you know, I continued to use the, uh, the polished rocks that they had in here because they are really pretty. And I have some in the water bowl, which is kind of how they had it before. They had some inside of the water bowl as well. Uh, and then I just kind of created a little path, like a little stepping stone path all the way back to the little, uh, the little hide back there. And they just kind of wanted to sit back there decoration-wise. Uh, but chances are most of these are going to get just kind of covered in dirt as he moves around anyway, uh, which is kind of how they always end up. They that I redid it when they first got in, cleaned everything out, and they just got covered in dirt again. He just like gets dirt all in his water dish, but you know, maybe the, the stepping stones will help him to not get as much dirt in his water. Maybe just coming off of the leaves and everything will help him to not get as much dirt in his water. We will see. I don't know. Uh, but that is the thing. He just uh, gets so much dirt in that water every single time. Uh, but yeah. I mean, I like it. I like it. Look at it. It's amazing. It looks so good. It's like a, it looks like a wholly, completely different enclosure. It looks just, mm, it's amazing. And I'm, I'm sure that I'm going to send them a link to this video so that they can see what I've done with it and see the results of it and all that. So um, I think they're going to like it. I like it. I know the frog likes it. Um, the frog. Don't even have a name for the frog. <laughs> anyway, it's late in the day. And I came home from work, and I really honestly didn't have the energy to do it. But I pushed through, and I got it done. And so now he's in there, and he's happy. And that's one more beautiful place thing I have to look at. It just does have a light on it, but right now I'm like, I was, like, reorganizing things in my corner. And so lights are unplugged right now, and I didn't really want to take the time to do that right out before. Just trying to find the energy to finish this. So... There's lights for this as well. He does have a UV light, uh, and then I don't, I'm not going to use a heat light because I keep it reasonably warm in his house. And I don't think he's going to need any more heat than he already has in this house right now. So, now, it is misted down, and it's going to spike the humidity for a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. It will come back down. We keep frogs in the store, and we kind of miss them on the daily, and they seem to be doing okay, uh, or the white street frogs there, and we had them kind of in like a planted type of thing, and they seem to do, to do okay in that. So, I think they're a little bit more forgiving of the humidity than we need, but I do. I wouldn't want to keep it this level of wet and high humidity all the time. I'm definitely going to allow this to dry out. Like maybe I might mist it lightly in the mornings, and that's about it. And then like every maybe couple of days or whatever, like when the plants are for sure needing to be watered, that would be a time where it might spike because I'll water the plants and give it a good mist down. And then it will spike for a little bit and then I'll let it drop all the way back down again before doing it again. I think that should be okay with keeping him from getting uh, too affected by the higher humidities being constant. Uh, I'll just let it, it'll spike and then it'll go dry out over time. It'll stay dry until it needs to be... Um, so the plants need to be watered again. And so, yeah. Anyway, that's it. It's all done. And it looks great. And I'm excited about it. And now I'm tired. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my day. And so that I can lay down and relax and chill. And not do anything else productive for the day. So, you all take care. You love yourselves. Love your loved ones. Love your reptiles. And you all, keep spreading those herbs.